Has lifting weights benefited you just as much psychologically as physically? In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you guys five life lessons that lifting will teach you and how lifting weights will actually carry over to other aspects of your life. So let's get into it. So I personally fall into the category of people who started training to build self-esteem, build muscle, get stronger, all that good stuff. But along the way, I noticed that I was getting a lot more bang for my buck. I was building discipline, work ethic, and all these different skills I developed transferred over to other aspects of my life. There's a great quote by Tom Platz that the psychological tools I got from bodybuilding will never atrophy. And what that basically means is that over time, later down the line, you're going to lose a lot of muscle, but the life lessons that you learn from lifting will never go away and they'll stay with you forever. So let's get into the five tips. So first and foremost, the biggest life lesson that weightlifting will teach you is that getting out of your comfort zone is the only way to grow. If you could bench press 275 for 10 right now, and a year from now you're doing 275 for 10, don't expect your chest to look that much different because at the end of the day, all the body knows is adaptation. And if you're not making it adapt to new stresses, don't expect your chest to look any different or any other muscle for that matter. The same thing can be said about life in general. If you have a lot of fears that you're never conquering and you're constantly hiding from them, don't expect to be very developed in those areas because you're not tackling your weak points and you're just hiding from the main problem. You're never gonna really grow in that aspect of your life. So what I really like about training is that when you're constantly hitting PRs, you're hitting records, it puts you in that mindset of getting out of your comfort zone. And this mindset of getting out of your comfort zone transfers onto the real world because now you understand the logic that you can't be too comfortable in life. You have to constantly challenge your body in different ways, and that's exactly what it does. So secondly, lifting teaches you that life is a marathon, not a sprint. If you were to take any big barbell exercise and add only five pounds a week with two and a half a side, that adds up to 260 pounds every single year, which is completely unrealistic. You have to think of the long term. You have to slow cook everything and think of consistency and making smaller jumps. The same thing can be said about life. You can't rush into things. You have to think of the process. And believe it or not, there actually is a process with a lot of things in life. You can't just jump from step A to Z. You have to remember that the rest of the alphabet is there as well. So thirdly, and this is probably my favorite one of the whole series, is that lifting properly will actually teach you how to leave your ego at the door. I know for myself, when I first started lifting, my ego was pretty high. Fast forward a couple years, it got to a really high point to where my training was not optimal. I wasn't getting the results I was really looking for. And the reason why is because I was trying to handle weights that I wasn't capable of lifting. And I wasn't capable because my ego was too high, my pride got in the way, and I just didn't want to lower the weight for some reason. And trust me, it didn't just stop there. This also carried over in a negative way to my personal life. Situations where it'd be really cold outside with snow and I'd walk outside with my jacket open because I thought I wouldn't get sick and I would get sick the next day. The examples are endless, but what I'm trying to say is that the ego did not get me anywhere. So I decided to put my ego to the side, work with coaches, lower my weights, and before you know it, everything's flowing and getting back into place the way it should because I left my ego at the door and it's a valuable lesson that the lifting will taught me. So chances are that if somebody has a really big ego in the gym, they probably have a big ego in the real world too. And if I could go back, I wouldn't change a single thing because I had to learn these lessons to become the person I am today and I'm really proud of it. Fourthly, lifting teaches you that plateaus and setbacks are all a part of the game and that you have to learn to act accordingly to keep moving forward. You might have certain lifts in the gym where you're progressing super well, and then eventually you just plateau, and this gives you a chance to revise your strategy for the future so you could break that plateau. But you have to stay patient and act accordingly. Likewise, you could also get injured. Some lifters get injured, and then that really sets them back. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna quit? Quitting isn't gonna make the process go any faster. You have to get back on your feet, rehab, and then find a way to get back to where you were and then pass that. So this could also be said about the real world too. Things don't always go as we plan. Progress isn't always linear in the real world and you are gonna hit roadblocks. So this is why you have to learn to act accordingly and just keep pushing forward, stay positive, and it does pay off. So last but not least, lifting teaches you that if you fail to prepare, then prepare to fail. All the most muscular and strong men and women I've ever met also very prepared when it comes to the competition, prepared when it comes to meal prep, but most importantly, they're prepared up here because a strong mind equals a strong body. So this carries over to the outside world as well with school. If you're not preparing for your quiz, test, or exam, 
you're definitely going to fail it. So you have to make sure that you're or well organized and you strategize properly in order to really get good grades. So when you're really prepared in the gym, you know, you do all your meal preps on Sundays, you got good programming, you show up, you kill it. You have no choice but to do well. And it also carries over to the real world. All right, so there you guys have it. Hope you learned something from today's episode. I know I definitely got a lot out of expressing this to you guys. Those are some of the five life lessons that the gym could potentially teach you. But more importantly, I want to know in the comment section below, how has the gym helped you excel and evolve as a person? I definitely want to know. Besides that, if you guys want a part two, I'll definitely deliver. And comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode.